Hey, what's up? Ron here. Welcome to Time Walk TV. Hope you're all having a great day today. If you're new here, we post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday all about Magic the Gathering. So if you want to keep up with all my videos, you want to watch some more gameplay, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. So today, we're going to take a look at Jeskai Fires of Invention. Now, not the normal list that you're used to seeing with all the Planeswalkers, but it's going to be a really interesting Cavalier list based off of Martin Muse's deck from the MPL. So I'm really excited to play this deck, so let's go and jump into Arena and play some games. Alright, welcome into Arena. We got our Fires of Invention deck loaded up, ready to go, so let's go and take a look at the deck, see how it works, get into some games here. So first of all, let's take a look at Fae of Wishes, kind of a breakout card over the last week or so. I played it in a Doom Foretold deck, I've seen it in Golos decks, and now in these Jeskai Fires decks. It's great because it gets you whatever you want out of your sideboard, and with Fires of Invention, you can tutor up whatever you want and then play it immediately. So that's really great. Uh, Shimmer Possibility, it's okay. It's just one of those cards that digs you a little deeper to find what you need, uh, especially when you have Fires out because you can go four deep, find uh, you know, a big creature, big Planeswalker, and just cast it from there. So uh, a solid card, solid two drop. This list, I'm going to add Bone Crusher Giant to. Uh, it's a great shock effect, and the damage isn't preventable, so there could be some cases where that comes into play, but it's just a solid spell and a body, so we're going to leave that in there. Uh, Prison Realm, great right now because a lot of Planeswalkers running around able to take care of any creature or Planeswalker, and Scry too. This deck is very reliant on Scrying and getting deeper into your deck as best you can because you want to get to all your big spells and kind of get past all the lands that we have in the deck to make sure we hit our land drops. So Scrying is really great. I'm trying out the Royal Scions in this deck just as a way to draw cards every single turn. And plus, giving a creature plus 2 plus 0 and trample will make it so our Cavaliers that we're looked at in a little bit will be much better. Uh, we have three Deafening Clarions. We usually run four, but we have Fae of Wishes, so we want to be able to go search one if we need it in kind of a pinch. Uh, we have Drawn from Dreams. This is great with Fires of Invention because once you play Fires, you can play this right after. Look at the top seven, grab two for free. Really, really great. Namesake card, Fires of Invention, three and a red. You can only cast spells during your own turn, and you may cast only two spells each turn as long as they are equal to or less than the number of lands you control. So as we get to five and six lands, we'll be able to cast all of our spells no problem. So let's go and take a look at the meat of the deck, basically. The, the part of the deck that's going to let us win these games. First of all, we have Cavalier of Gales. It's a 5-drop, five 5-5 five, five flyer. When it enters the battlefield, you brainstorm, which means you draw 3 cards. Put 2 cards from your hand back on top in any order. When Cavalier dies, it shuffles back in, and then you scry 2. Again, more scry. And this card goes back into your library, so you can draw it again later. 5-5 five, five flyer is huge. This is the main card that I wanted to play, especially with all these Golos decks running around and everything. This card ends the game extremely quickly because you're able to play it for free and then use the pump ability to give your team plus one plus oh in haste. So you can crash in for a bunch of damage on turn five, probably 14 or 15 damage sometimes. The ability to discard cards and draw cards is great. You want to get deeper into your deck as best as you can. But basically this card is here because you can utilize your mana throughout the entire game and just uh, have this hasty, crazy threat that can end the game on the spot out of nowhere. And we're going to toss in one niv -Mizzet. card is fantastic. The ping ability is actually really great with uh, Cavalier of Gears drawing three cards. You have the Scions drawing cards. And uh, playing some spells with this is out is going to make it ping some damage as well. The land base here uh, kind of just went a little, uh, I don't know, generic. Just four of every dual land, two Castle Vantress, and one of each basic. Just as simple as I could possibly get it. Now the sideboard, there's 15 individual cards in this list, so we'll just go through them real quick. Devout Decree takes care of a black or red creature or planeswalker. Disenchant for artifacts and enchantments. Elder Spell, this card can only be cast when Fires of Adventure is in play, along with a bunch of the cards that we have in our sideboard, so... Some of them won't work unless we have Fires of Invention in play, so that's kind of a uh, Achilles heel to this deck, is you want Fires in play to make sure that your Fae of Wish package is completely optimal. But at the same time, our main deck is so powerful, it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to throw in a bunch of these crazy cards, and most likely they'll work throughout the, the course of the games here. So Elder Spell for the Planeswalker decks, Ashiok for possibly the Golas deck so they can't search, uh, Unmoored Ego, for anything that is combo heavy or 
even for Golo, so you can get those Field of the Deads out of the way. Moving down, added in a Chance for Glory so we can swing, make our, our stuff indestructible, and then get a following turn so that we can finish off the game, hopefully, so that we don't lose the game with the uh, you lose the game trigger there. Uh, one Deafening Clarion so we can go and wish for it. Our Once in a Future is three and a green, return target card from your graveyard to your hand, put up to one other target card from your graveyard on top of your library, and then exile it. And the adamant puts them both in your hand instead of one on top, one in your hand. Now I want this card in my board because I can wish for it and I can get back any target card to my hand and another one on top of my library. So if I get into a long grindy game, I can wish for this card, put a good threat back into my hand, another one on top, and then you know hopefully win the game from there but it's allow it allows me to replay some of my spells that I usually can't replay so that's all the reason I wanted it Tamio is great for against the doom foretold decks they can't make you sacrifice now the doom foretold will still go off because it views it as we, us not being able to sacrifice but being able to keep our fires invention to play or one of our planeswalkers is great uh, time wipe another removal spell to Fae of Wishes up if we need it. Nickel Bolas is just a big threat. Command the Dread Horde if we play against a Planeswalker deck and kill all their Planeswalkers, so we can bring them all back to our side of the table. We have Chandra, just because it's a big giant Planeswalker that uh, wins the game, basically. Casualties of War is going to be a great removal spell against Golos and other big mid-range decks, because you can take out one of each, so you can choose one or more. And Plain White Celebration, because... I don't know, it gains you life, and it's a big giant 7 drop, so something fun to throw in the board there. But that's the deck. Let's go and hop into some games, see how it plays out, and I expect this deck to be really crazy, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can beat the uh, Golos Field deck. All right, welcome into our first round here. Let's take a look at our hands, see what we got to work with. We got a few lands. We got some removal spells into a Cavalier, so hopefully these, this scry line here can get us closer to finding Fires of Invention. We are on the draw, so we get to go one card deeper. So let's just see what we got. I'm going to keep this hand. Seems good. Our opponent is going down to five cards, and they're going to play a mill deck here. So Island into Overwhelmed Apprentice. It's a one drop, one two. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard, and then you scry two. So it's a way to mill them and to fix their draw. So really great. Um, let's go ahead and scry here. Uh, Castle Vantress. We, we're looking for Fires of Invention right now. We'll, we'll try to look for another castle later. It's possible that we should be playing four of that card just because the scry is so very important. But there's another Overwhelmed Apprentice, same as what we saw before. All right, so it didn't really mill anything great, just a few lands and a Cavalier. Not too bad. We're getting closer and closer to our Fires of Invention, and there it is. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Looks good. Well, Mountain, we don't really want toss that to the bottom now they have a really really slow cock um they do have four cards in our graveyard so they could drown in the lock our fires invention so that's not really that uh fun for us but they only have two cards left in hand so i'm not too worried uh they milled a few more here they got the royal scion another bone crusher giant some lands um so this turn i think we're just going to scry again we're just going to keep scrying that's really really good it takes out all their creatures and we don't really need to play our Bone Crusher Giant, so we can just kind of pass the turn. They're only hitting us for two a turn, so it's not really that bad. They're playing Mono Blue. Maybe they don't even have Drown and Lock. That's actually pretty great. Let's go ahead and just take the two. We're down to 15. Not that bad. We have two cards in hand. I guess we will attempt to go for it here. Hopefully they don't have a counter spell. Please no counter spell. Oh, they... Okay, they don't have a counter spell, they just drew four. Perfect. Alright, and then we'll uh, play Clarion. Ooh, cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. What should we do here? Let's, uh... we go deeper? Or we take out their... Yeah, let's just take out their, uh, their creatures here. At least the creatures that are dealing us damage. That was a really nice draw four. They have, uh... Nine cards in our graveyard right now. But now we're setting up for a really, really awesome turn here especially if we're able to find like a cavalier of gales to get a little deeper into our deck okay they're gonna bounce it make a one one that's fine um let's scry see what we got on top land we don't want and we will play fires of engine again 
Alright, so they have the counter spell. So that was pretty... That's actually pretty bad of me to... To, uh... Assume that that would come into play, honestly. Because they just drew four cards and they bounced it. So just assuming that they have either... Uh, the counter spell like this one, Thought Collapse, or didn't say please. Um, I didn't really think that through. It kind of played a little too quickly, and it kind of got me there in the end. So they're going to scry two at Witching Well. The Witching Well is a new enchantment from Eldraine. One blue enters the battlefield, scry two, and you can sacrifice it to draw two cards. So right now they have... They scried two, so they must have put that on the bottom then. The question is, we just play, I think we just play Cavalier. I assume they wouldn't have a, another counter spell. They might. Didn't say please. Okay, so now they're they're done with their counter spells. That's fine. So now we're just kind of hanging out. How many how many cards? We have 29 cards left in our in our library here. And they only have one power in play. One card in hand, and they're able to draw two if they need to. So I guess we'll, we'll let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I think we shock this in. Play Cavalier. Hopefully they don't have another counter spell. They could find another one, but two mana counter spells are a little tough to come by in standard right now. They they have Quench, that might be a thing. Yeah, let's just get rid of all four. Draw, or sorry, <laughs> three and draw draw two more. Uh, we'll give this guy haste, and we'll just attack for seven. Try to get this game over with as soon as possible here. Not too worried about them getting uh, losing that creature. So they do have four cards back in hand again. They, their card advantage is actually pretty crazy from what they're doing. So now they're going to really try to mill us out. We only have 25 cards left. Callous Dismissal. Okay. Still does not stop us from swinging for seven again. Put another counter on that and play a blocker. And mill us two more. Really need to find a uh, fighter's dimension to make this make this all work here. So I believe we've only haven't just seen one. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. What if we do this and then try to find a land? Although I think we just want to do this and pump again. What do we do here? That's pretty good. Um, I kind of like some of these cards, to be honest. Let's just uh, let's just go for broke. Try to find our fighters I mentioned. Put that on the bottom. Play this as a creature. It's a flying creature, so we can go over there. Over there, guys. Um, Niv Miz is going to be uncounterable, which is great. We're gonna be really, really tight for cards in our in our uh, thing here. Hmm. Do I have anything to put cards back in my library? That's an interesting thing to think about. Thirteen with two cards in hand. I think we just do this. All right, next we'll swing for no, 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 no. No, we already have one in our hand, so we'll swing right there. It's gonna be. Gonna be close. Gonna be close. I, uh, I think I just want as many creatures in play as possible. We only have 13 cards left in our. Okay, so they have a thought collapse. That's really annoying. That's five cards into our bin, and we have mm, we had fires of invention on top. Yikes! Brutal, 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 brutal. Another fires of invention. All right, seven cards left. It's gonna be a close one. With two cards, only one card left. There's a there's a wall. One, two. We have five cards left. Okay. We have one card left. Ugh, no, I don't know what I don't want to lose this stupid mill. Gosh, no way. Um. We can pump twice, I guess. I'll submit zero so we don't die. <laughs> I have no way to kill my own cavalier either. Hit him for ten. Dang. And we lose. Alright. You got us. You got us, opponent. That was a 
pretty close one. They have a lot of callous dismissals, which is a little annoying. Um, what can we do to alleviate that? I think just play a little tighter. I don't think we played uh, the best there because we kind of threw our Fires of Invention straight into a counterspell when we should have uh, assumed that they had that just because they're mono blue. If they had black, we could have played around Drown and Lock, but yeah, I think we're just going to run it back. I mean, we have all one ofs in our board specifically for this card, so let's just run it back and uh, see if we can uh, take the win. We, as long as we can keep our Fires of Invention in play for at least a turn, we can probably win. But ha them having both of their Calisus missiles was a really, really tough, uh, tough for us. So we do have Shimmer into Bone Crusher. We, and we just need to find a Fires of Invention. So let's go and keep this for sure. Our opponent is on Mono Blue Mill. Very interesting. I know there's like a blue black mill deck that I've been like tweaking with a little bit here and there, but it just loses the Golos field so bad. Like I just don't want to play it just in case. It's just uh, kind of like Esper Doom deck that I've been playing and I played in paper over the last weekend. It's just uh, it's really great and it does and it wins a lot of matchups. But man, it just uh, it's a big feel bad when you play against Golos because they just make make uh, zombies like every turn. It's really hard to hard to win. Okay, so let's go and shock in. And we will shimmer, looking for. Oh boy, I guess we just take another shimmer then. Yeah, we'll take another shimmer. All right, there's the secrets. No problem. Yep, take one to seventeen. Clarion, that's fine. Looking for fires, don't find it. So we'll take temple. Scry to the bottom. We're really looking for that uh, fires I mentioned, but it looks like they're gonna hold up a counter spell here. There it is. Okay. So I think we just play this side of Bone Crusher Giants. Take out their their attacker. They're gonna counter this, but we want to try to get their counters out of their hand soon as possible so that we can play our fires of invention and then hopefully win from there we'll see drown secrets okay fires of invention in the graveyard and merfolk okay so they want to mill us for four here yikes okay we're in a bit of a pickle <laughs> a little bit of a pickle holy moly What can we do here? Our sideboard might be something we want to we want to look at possibly. Oh boy, we are getting milled quick. Thirty-five. I am gonna do alternate casting cost to find something here. There's a disenchant. Let's see. What can we do here? Ashiok, Time Wipe, Elder Spell, Chance for Glory, Disenchant. Doesn't look like too much. Doesn't look like too much we can do here. Hmm. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. What's in here? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hit too many creatures yet, but hmm. Yeah, maybe we just take the disenchant. They'll probably bounce this. They only have three cards in hand, but <laughs> from last game, it seemed like they had they had the answer to it every time. Gargoyle, okay. Mill two, mill two. Yep. And play that. Mill two, mill two. Okay, we're still at a somewhat high <laughs> life, or I guess our. Our library is our life total. <laughs> oh boy, what do we got here? Missing land drops, I see, I see. Well, that's not good, is it? Well, let's play Drawn from Dreams. This and Cavalier. Play our land. 
on the bottom. Um, we have a ton of cards in our graveyard here. I think we'll two cards in there. Anything? Hmm. Trying to see how we can, how can we do this here? We could take five. We could just play that. We could just play this, and we can. Hmm. Maybe we just play Cavalier this turn. Yeah, let's just play Cavalier. We have a five. We'll, we'll take five damage if they swing. We'll see what they do. They only have three cards in hand. Okay, they found a land. They have no spells in their graveyard to bring back with this Mixed Sanctuary. Hoping they don't have a Galsus Mitchell. They didn't have it last turn, so I don't, I don't assume that they would have it now. No blocks, don't care. So, 11... Wall, huh? This turn, hmm. This is a tough one. Bone Crusher Giant, huh? Hmm. What to do here? What to do? Life doesn't matter. I have no, no way to shuffle cards back into my graveyard or into my into my library. Fourteen cards left. I could shuffle it back in, and man, that's tough. Well, let's let's save let's save that. Uh, we have one card in hand, so I guess we'll do this first. Cancel. Do it right. <laughs> Next, we'll swing for five. Okay. And then we'll do it one more time. Zero casting cost. One, two. This will shuffle it back in. Then we'll get the scry two and then scry again. Okay, so that's pretty good. We'll do that. Looks good. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that should be game if... They don't play anything. If they don't put any any creatures in the play to block, then we're good. Okay, we're good. Hopefully. We'll see if they have a counter spell. <laughs> no, I don't have a counter spell. Are you serious? Yikes, man. Yikes. Okay. Resolves. Alright, well they have no cards in hand right now. We have seven cards left in our in our deck. Sorry, uh, Yep, seven cards left. Play this, and we'll pump twice. Uh, yeah, we'll just discard everything. Shoot, why did I do that? I'm so stupid! <laughs> okay, one. I wish I had a way to... Oh man, I should play like Fling or something. How crazy would Fling be? Right? All attack. I still have four cards in my library, so hopefully they don't play a blue spell or I'm dead. Oh my goodness! No way! No way. Um, do this one. That's okay. That's alright, we still win. Resolves. We won the game. We won the game! Holy moly. I don't know how we pulled this one off, but we pulled it off somehow. Some serious uh, mil, mil action going on here. Oh, all right. Well, we're on to game three. Deck still feels feels great. I just, uh, I have no way to stop the mill. <laughs> if I had like a ley line, maybe, wouldn't that be kind of neat if I ran a ley line of sanctity in the board? That'd be kind of sweet. Like one ley line of the void, one ley line of sanctity, just for like these, like, you know, off chance kind of matchups. Since I have Bay of Wishes, I don't see that being bad. That could be something we add in the future. But New Star Lord 20 is trying to uh, crush our hopes and dreams with, uh, with islands. 
and I'm all for that. But the mill is the mill is tough. The mill is very very tough. Uh, yep, we have uh, removal into prison room to scry and hopefully find ourselves a fire's invention. So that's kind of cool. If we can find fire's invention, we're looking good. If not, we're going to be uh, pretty sad. The old zero four wall that mills us for four, two, three, four. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I think I'll do it this way, just so that I have the uh, the shock up. The zero four isn't scary; doesn't deal any damage, but it does mill for four, which is very annoying. All right, we'll just zap him for four, for two then. No sense in holding on to it. All right, and then we'll uh, pay two life, and we'll prison realm. There's zero four. If they want to counter this, that's fine. But I would just, uh, I, I'm not sure why they countered it, because they're just going to get their 0-4. It doesn't matter if they have a 0-4 or not, unless they have like a blink effect or something. But countering that uh, doesn't let me scry, which is a big deal. I guess I could just get it back, huh? How about that? That's pretty cool. Mystic Sanctuary is a great, great card. And it's an island, so you can fetch it up with uh, fetch lands and stuff like that. All right, getting rid of all of our cards here. This one might be a little bit of a of a, a battle here, if you will. Okay, well, we'll shock ourselves again, and we'll draw on from dreams and try to find our way out of this, this mess we're in here. Doesn't look good for our hero. Hero? Well, we'll take Cavalier, and I guess we just take an, a land... We have Sacred Foundry. We already have triple blue, quadruple blue. What can we get out of our board? I guess we can get like Chandra or something. Yeah, let's take those two. I don't know if that's correct. Okay, they didn't play anything, they didn't play a land. They have counter magic up. What to do, what to do? Well, well, well. We could. I guess we could just try to giant keep the cards in our hand. Okay, they let that go. Uh, pay two life, and we'll put a creature into play here too. Fay of wishes. I wonder why they didn't counter the old bone crusher giant though. That's the question I think. Into the story. Oh my goodness! That's why they didn't counter it. Yikes! I'm just trying to get as many creatures into play as possible so that Cavalier is good. Yikes. Putting that back in their hand is super good. And they're, they'll play a 5-4 and hold up counter spell. Woo! Man. Okay. Well then. We are kind of <laughs> kind of having an issue here. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we... Uh, Try to draw them from dreams, see if they counter, which they probably will. Yep, there's the counter. Hopefully they don't have another Mystic Sanctuary. Did they get a Fire's Invention? I think they just did. Drat, they did. Pay two life, play this as a fairy. Um, swing with our Bone Crusher Giant. Block there, block there, block there. <laughs> okay, oh, man. These have a ton of cards in hand. They're going to be able to draw four, four again. It's not looking good for here. We still have 31 cards in our in our library, but we got to kind of... We're down to 12 life, too. Oh, my goodness. We did all that ourselves, too. <laughs> well, this is a tough matchup for sure. Just because they have so many counter spells. And, like, I'm not running any Teferis because I'm running the Royal Scions instead. Hmm... It's a tough. It's a tough world out there because, uh, you know, everybody's everybody's playing Teferi, but some people just force through counter spells uh, for whatever reason, and instant speed spells. So sometimes you gotta you gotta work through that, especially down here in gold, because they're just playing whatever they want. And they don't care if you're playing Teferis. Uh, let's see, Scry, Shimmer can stay. Cavalier, hopefully wins. Skip, good job. 
Okay, we got an encapsulator there. Get rid of, or we'll put back. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. We'll put back, yeah, we'll put back these two. Um, land, yeah, we'll want the land first. Um, this will swing with the, with the dude here. Nothing we can really do. Oh boy. Well, I took two damage, sweet. Michael's back on top. Ho oh, ho! I can shock something again. Yikes! Oh no. Well, this deck is like super sweet. They keep getting back all their stuff. I wish I could mill them a little bit. That'd be great. Block one. Block the other. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna how this is gonna go. <laughs> don't know how this is gonna go. Oh no, this is gonna die and then shuffle in. Oh no. What do we got? Cavalier on top. Sure ting. What you got, opponent? Callous dismissal. They want to mill me again. Four. That was a smart move. They get to have a get. They get to make a one-one, and mill the card that I left on top. And play another. Oh my goodness! Yikes! Man, I should have. Uh... Oh my goodness! How am I gonna? How am I gonna make my way through this gauntlet? <laughs> Yeah, I guess we'll put back these two and one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, well, we'll leave uh, the land on top just in case. You can play Bone Crusher into this, and then if they swing for it with everything, all right, I gotta draw a bunch and hopefully not play a land. No, not a land. Play a spell. 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 Ten, eleven, yeah, boy. All right, we'll block there. Come at me! <laughs> Come at me, man! Play something! Darn it! Four, one, two, three. Oh boy, not looking good here. Three, four. Well, he's got a counter spell. Hmm. Darn! Oh crap! I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, they're gonna counter, and I'm gonna lose. No. Oh, okay. You win. You an opponent. Man, we lost to Mill. That that list was crazy, though. That list was way better than any other one I've seen before. That was very very well built for a mono blue list. That was really really good. They had a lot of good interaction, ways to bounce and tempo uh, their opponent, counter spells. They had the Mystic Sanctuaries to get stuff back. They had a good draw spells with, uh, you know, into the story. Really well built deck. Not that great against uh, Teferi Time Raveler, but if they're just milling the person out and they're milling very quickly, actually, and then they have the giants or sorry, the gargoyles to uh, put a big clock on them as well. It kind of hits from two angles. So I really like that deck. Fortunately, we did get beat by it, but I think we had a good chance to beat them at some point. But uh, yeah, I think we'll just move on to the next round, and maybe we'll build this mill deck later on in the week. All right, welcome into round number two. Let's take a look at our hand, see what we got. Looks like we have double scry land to fix our draws, and we have removal spells for any planeswalkers and a bunch of little creatures. So, looks like a really solid hand. Let's go and keep, and we're on the play, so we get to scry first. Looking for fires of invention. Now this is an I. I say this over and over again, and I see a lot of players do it, and I not under I do not understand why. There's no point to doing that on my turn. The reason you want to do that on oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to <laughs> collect my thoughts here. So once upon a time, since it's free, you should always wait till the exact turn that you're going to play something. So in his in in our opponent's instance. If they waited till their turn, they drew a card, and then they go five deep. So they get to their sixth card down instead of their fifth card down. So they're they're kind of uh, 
selling themselves short a little bit on on their cards. Now, they did find a goose, but they didn't play the goose. All right, shimmer possibility. Do we need this? Probably. We have a bunch of lands. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we would kind of want to just find our fires of invention. But that once upon a time play always, always, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it just always gets me, you know? <laughs> always, 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 always wait until you draw your card for turn and do it right before you play your spell or whatever. That's the best time to do it. Don't sell yourself short one card because it's not the optimal play. Always do your best to be as optimized as possible to chance... Or, sorry, increase your chances of winning. Big gear and brig guy. Let's go ahead and prison realm. The old Yorvo. And we'll go ahead and scry one. Toss that to the bottom. Don't need it right now. Really looking for Fires of Invention to play Cavalier, but we can play Cavalier next turn actually, so that's pretty sweet. Model green, play in the goose. The goose is loose. Making a food token. Play a land. Play our Cavalier of Gales. Draw three. Two back. Now this works really well with Shimmer Possibility. Because next turn we can Shimmer past these ones. So there's our awesome card right there. We'll put Clarion and our land back. And I think we'll go ahead and... believe we can... Let's put Deafening Clarion back, because we want to draw the Deafening Clarion just just in case we want to clear the board, because we're going to play Fire's Invention into Drawn from Dreams to look for um, our Red Cavalier. There's the Nissa. Now, what does this do? Distributes two wall encounters among two tar creatures. They gain trample until end of turn. Minus three tar creature you control deals damage equal to his power to target creature or planeswalker. And minus five, you may choose a creature card you own from outside the game. Reveal it and put it into your hand. So this card is pretty unique in the fact that you can plus it tw or plus it once and then ultimate it. And then you can go find any creature you want from your graveyard and play it. So that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, we're just going to do our thing here. Play Fires of Invention. And now we will draw from dreams to look at the top seven and pick two. So I believe we want to probably have Cavalier and Scions, to be honest. Mm, well, yeah, because we don't have the land for Niv Mizzet. We definitely want Cavalier, and we'll go with Scions this time, even though Niv Mizzet's a little bit better. Let's just keep it that way. Let's swing for five at Nissa. They want to throw the goose under the bus that's fine if not we get to take out vivian so that's cool i think i called her nissa my bad <laughs> that's vivian they're different <laughs> all right what do we got opponent another forest so mono green kind of beat down style deck it's always nice when you can uh when you can play a mono colored deck because you can use all your mythic and rare wild cards on the big spells. And I think they're almost dead. Play land. Play cavalier. Alright, we'll discard, 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 discard. Discard those three. And we'll draw three. And we'll play... Ooh, actually, we play... This, then we definitely win. There's the Cavalier. One, two, three. Put two back. That's fine. Cavalier pump. Cavalier pump. Cavalier pump. Swing. There they are. Deadzo. We did it! We did the whole like combo, you know. You know, we're like a boxer. We bopped him. Ho 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 ho. We got like 25 damage in one swing. Oh, oh yeah. The funny thing is we're winning these games without ever sideboarding. So like, do we even need a sideboard? Like Fave Wishes hasn't really done anything this game so far. Played against pretty aggressive decks. Like Mill is extremely aggressive 
And now mono green, you have to deal with their big creatures ASAP or it's going to be pretty bad for you. But man, Fires of Invention is sweet. The Cavalier build is extra sweet because you want to build, um, you want to just be able to end the game super, super fast. And then from there, you can uh, hopefully beat the Golos deck because that's like the one deck I'm trying to beat the most. Because if you can beat that deck, then you'll be, you know, you're better in like a tournament setting because a lot of people play Golos field because it's just that good and make a bunch of zombies and it's hard to interact with because playing a land and making two or three or four zombies is uh pretty good i heard it's pretty good all right what do we got here we got one land and nothing else so it's mulligan oh boy mulligan oh my gosh well i yeah we'll keep five let's let's keep five put one back put two back we have a Skyland, and we get to draw for turn. Oh boy, we do have like 26, I think, lands in this deck. So, fingers crossed, we can get there. I just felt like going to, you know, going to four cards was just not really that great. So we just need to get to four lands, and, I, and we can do Fires Invention into Drone from Dreams, and we, that should find us the rest of the lands that we need. So we have a Gilded Goose by our, our opponent from Castle Garenbrig. And bark hide troll. So, well, we drew a cavalier, but we really don't have the lands to play it right now. We need to need to get our lands in order here because if we can hit our lands from now until turn five, we'll have fires and drop from dreams on turn four, and then we'll have double cavalier on turn five. Land? Oh ho ho! We're getting lucky. One more, one more time. That's all we need. We just need one more lucky land. <laughs> Call this the lucky land right now. They're missing a land drop last turn. Played it this turn. Questing Beast, uh, we're not liking the, the Questing Beast is gonna kill us really fast. <laughs> land, please. Hoo hoo hoo! It's not really what we wanted. Four, five, six, seven. Well, here's the hope we got a land on top. Cavalier? Nope. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to win this game. Even if we do Cavalier into this. Take 4, 7 down to 3. Block here. Go to... Mm, I don't know what we could get off the top, to be honest. Because this can... We can gain Hexproof. That's still not good enough. Right, 3. I don't think we have any board wipes in our deck. Maybe we should run time wipes or something. Since these are like combo cards with this. We don't really have them in play that long. Time wipe might be a good card to have. And if we had Fae of Wishes, we would be able to fires for fires, then Fae of Wishes, and then play Time Wipe the following turn. But we did miss our land drops here. So that's just a way to use your mana, huh? Yep, and we had it next turn, so we we're gonna we could fires into Fae of Wishes. So let's go ahead and concede here. Not a big deal. It happens. We mold the five. Had to keep a one lander because uh, four, four cards probably wouldn't have been that great. We really need to hit our land drops every single turn. Let's go ahead and keep this. I still think our deck is a little bit better. If we hit our land drops up to four player fires, then we're really set to win this game. Just uh, tough mono colored matchups here, which is really, it's really cool to see these mono 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 colored matchups. Because. <laughs> uh, you just utilize your your rares and mythics a lot better when you're just in a monocolored uh, deck here. But we do have our removal spell early, so that's kind of cool. Not even gonna worry about getting a white source, I don't think. All right, so we're gonna play our fatal passage. Probably go get a red source. Okay, luckily they, luckily for us, we they didn't have a one drop this this game. Go grab ourselves a mountain. Alright, draw Castle Garen or Castle Vantress, which is great. We'll pay two life, pass the turn. Just hold this up in case they have a, a two drop that we can kill. If they have like a Paradise Druid, we can't really kill that, which is fine. I think I'm just gonna zap their their face, get this to go on an adventure. 
All right, now we can play the Royal Scions plus the six. They're pretty safe. Um, not from a, they're safe from a questing beast, which is cool. Eh, let's take out Shimmer. Shimmer does dig us a little deeper, but we really want to just want to hit our land drops for Fires of Invention. Looks like they're going to have a Questing Beast here. Um, questing Beast does hit us, hit this down to 2. Hits us down to 14 in the process. Yep, and then back that for 4 as well. That's fine. Land, we did it. Um, draw a card, then discard. Um, oh, discard the giant. Play the giant from exile here. Good blocker for the questing beast, as long as they don't have any kind of removal spell. They have like a Vivian, or I think there's a new card that has like a fight ability on it. We'll see. Usually these green cards do have that. Okay, so it looks like they're going to use the Thrashing Bronze Dawn to kill our Fire Zone Mansion. Pretty good. Uh, hopefully we can find another one. We do have a good blocker here. Let's see if they swing. Block. I'll block this Questing Beast all day. Not even worried about it. I will block that Questing Beast with the, the Giant all day. <laughs> Alright. Play the Gilded Goose. The old... Gilded Goose, new card from Throne of Eldrain. Green 0-2 Flyer, when it enters, make a food token. You can tap it, pay one in a green to make a food token, or you can tap it and sacrifice the food to make one man of any color. So that's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and draw and discard. Fae of Wishes, huh? Well, now this is, this is the point in time where I think altering the deck slightly to have one fire's in the board and three fires main is the what we want to do uh shimmer yeah we'll put shimmer in the graveyard we'll shock ourselves down to 10 and we'll play cavalier of gales this way we can draw and hopefully find another fires which we did green i don't think they care but we're just going to put this and this back put the fires on top all right, we're not looking too bad. Our Royal Scions is doing awesome, awesome work. Let's see what our opponent has. They have Castle Garen Briggs, so they have six mana, seven, eight mana currently. Six mana can pay for like a Nissa or a Vivian. Looks like they have seven mana right now. And they're gonna create a food with some of that, so they're gonna have five mana left, two food. I guess they can eat the food up, or if they have something big in their hand, five mana might be a Nyssa. Not sure. We'll see what they play here. What do we got? What do we got? Royal Scions is like one of my favorite cards. This card's great. Protection from Multicolored. Okay. Do this because we're going to double uh, Cavalier next turn. What do we want? What do we want to do here? Hmm. Yeah, that might be a thing to do. Let's see. Well... Yeah, we'll get a chance for Blur. Uh, plus one. Draw and discard. No attacks. Land would be great, an untapped land, I mean. So there's six mana again. Our old Royal Scions is doing work right now. Really nice, really nice. We can even plus to give a creature plus two plus oh and trample, which is great. Trample first strike, wow. That's really good. Ferocious Hydra for five, and they're gonna probably fight the Gales. That's my guess, they're gonna fight the Gales. Alright, what do we got here? That's six. That's five, two, five. Oh, we'll put that like that. And I think we're alright with keeping those two. Because they're probably going to swing here for five. 
kill the royal scions. Good. Not worried about that. Let's go ahead and Cavalier of Gales for zero. That feels extra good. And we'll put back... What do we do here? I guess we could put back these two and maybe swing. What can we do here? Oh, you know what we can do? We can put this back and we can put one of these back. Leave that on top. And then we can... They hit us for 10, we go up to 15, we go down to 5. And we can do these two next turn. Temple, keep that on top. Do this for zero, both, and then we'll, this has reach, no it does not, okay good, so then we'll swing, oh no, it doesn't have haste, Ugh, so stupid, oh my goodness if they kill this I'm dead, okay, oh man oh man oh man oh man, and this is going to trigger, and it's not a May ability. Crud. Yep, that's fine. Crud, crud, crud. Okay. Makes that a little bigger. Are they not swinging? They have to swing, right? Oh, that's great, actually. Yep. Uh, no blocks. Yowzer. Okay. So we'll do this for zero. Uh, submit zero. We will do take an extra turn after this one. And then we'll pump, 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 and pump again, we'll attack, that has reach, what the heck, oh we still win, I don't know why they block like that, because it doesn't matter. Gases for zero and bring the pain train. Here we come. <laughs> pump, pump, pump. Swing for a lot. Boom, 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 boom. Minus 30. Let's go. <laughs> we did it. Look at this little, uh, look at that little tricky, tricky play. I still think we. Do we win if they don't double block? It doesn't matter. We won. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Let's take a look at our hands. See what we got going on. We got double Scryland into Shimmer, Definite Clarion, and our Fires. Definitely going to keep it. Hopefully, we find an untapped land so that Fable Passage can come into play untapped on turn four. We have Azorius Gilgate. So that is going to mean uh, only one thing, and that's probably the Golos Field deck. So we'll see how we fare against the old Golos Field. We drew a land for the turn and our Cavalier is on top, so I think we're actually going to keep it. We'll probably Scry again, and then Shimmer. And again, once upon a time, don't try to be so uh, uh, tricky, I guess, or something. I'm not sure why everyone does it at end of turn. Wait till you draw the card so you're not selling yourself short one land. Um, just doesn't make any sense to do it that way. So. We'll see if we can hang with the old Golos Field deck here. Um, I'm going to put the Royal Silence to the bottom right now. I really want to try to hit an untapped land. Shimmer will probably do that next turn, to be honest. But really need to hit another land to make sure that we have Cavalier um, at the right time here. Um, Captain Clarion is going to be really good. 
there's the field. If they have untapped land into route, it's going to be really annoying. But we'll see. Hopefully tap land. Yep, it's good. Gain a life. All right. There's our land. So let's shimmer. Probably want... Cavalier of Gales. Scry. Fires on the bottom. And then... We'll see what they do here. If they have land into route, then that's going to make them two zombies. And fires into Jeff and Clarion. Probably need another Cavalier of Gales to swing over top of all the zombies that they're going to start making here soon. Probably play Golos into maybe another field. Maybe they go get a red white land or green black or red blue. But yep, there's the, that red one. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and shock this in. We'll play that and I think we're just gonna put this into play because next turn we're gonna do these two and it's gonna be pretty crazy now granted they're gonna make a bunch of zombies probably I can only assume they're gonna make zombies if they don't it's unbelievably unlucky for them this is a giant don't forget See if they're able to make any zombies. It'll be crazy if they don't make any zombies. Holy moly. Okay. They are super dead. Wow. I think we just oh, I think we beat them. Oh. Yikes. Okay. Fetch. Go get a red source. And then I don't think they can do anything. Play Cavalier for zero. Net zero. Pump. Pump. Ooh, Exaxes. Oh, it feels so good. They stumbled for one turn. And we gave him the business. <laughs> Boy, did that feel good. Oh, did that feel good. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen again, but oh, baby. That felt great. <laughs> All right. Now, our main cards that we want to find are Ashiok, Casualty of Wars, and Tamio. Tamio because we can buy this back. Oh, and buy that back. So, I think we got to keep our deck the way it is. We have Clarions to clear the board. We've got Shimmer to find everything. And Prison Realm to take care of the Golos. We just got to get a little lucky like we did game one. I don't know. I, I, get, I think the only other way to win is uh, the Scions plus like the Flyer. They really have no way to stop Flyers. So, just getting... A few Cavalier of Gales in the air and possibly just getting a Cavalier of Flame to pump them up is probably where you want to be. Let's see what our hand looks like. Hopefully it look not looking too bad. Yet we have fires in our hand. Shimmer on two to find the rest of our lands we need. And we even have Bone Crusher Giant. So, yep, looking great. Get the draw for the, our first turn and we get the Scry too. land nope but that's a good one to have Let's try to find a land here sorry f man oh man oh man oh man we need we need lands I really want fave wishes but we need lands we really need lands if our deck does not draw lands our deck does not work <laughs> we definitely need those all right so they have our their growth spiral up yep let's go ahead and pay two We'll shimmer to look for a land. Oh, come on. Right, come on, Arena. You got this. You got this. You got this, Arena. 
All right, yep, there's our land. Sweet. One more land and we'll be able to play our, our uh, Cavaliers here. They have a really, really fast start with uh, Growth Spiral. Hopefully, they don't have an untapped land into route. That way, they will be at six lands by the time we're at three. Does not look that way. All right, so we'll play our Scry land. We want another... I like the Royal Sounds, but we want another land. No, I think, actually, hmm. No, because we're going to do inventions into, uh, into Dawn for Dreams, though. Let's go ahead and cancel. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just say go for it right now. We're, we're almost, we're almost there. Because hopefully this will hit a land plus a Fae of Wishes. And then we get Fae of Wishes for, like, Casualty of War or something like that. And then we'll buy back the Fairy for a Tamiyo to buy back the the other card there so this might be a Golos if it is we're in a little bit of trouble because they're probably gonna go get uh, Field of the Dead as their okay so let's two damage to them want to keep their life total as low as possible easier to kind of one shot them so they don't have Golos which is really good Minus three, sure. So let's go ahead and shock this in. Okay, do I... Good thing they minus on Teferi, so now I'm not too worried about that. Ooh, the negate. Negate. Oh, okay. Did not expect a negate. That's that's crazy. Um, that's something I definitely did not expect. Okay. Definitely definitely caught me off guard there with that one. Jellyfish for four? Sure. Land? Looks good. Drawn from Dreams. Yeah, we already have one. Uh, play our Fires of Invention, and we'll play our Cavalier of Gales, which is a little bit bigger than your Jellyfish. Uh, we'll put these two back. And leave it like that so that we have our our uh, our fetch land there on top. Let's see if they have another Teferi maybe to bounce our Cavalier. That's definitely a possibility. They do not. They have six different land types. If they play a Field of the Dead, they will make one zombie, which they do. Plus, on the Teferi, and another Teferi. Okay, so they're going to be able to play... Sorceries at instant speed, and they're just going to bounce the old Fires of Invention. Very fine with me. Alright, so what do we do here? I think we do... I think this is what we're going to do. Fires of Invention. Then we will play... The Royal Scions for zero. And then we will plus one on this guy next oh boy next swing at the old teferi there yep okay sweet we'll fetch now just to get it out of the way we have blue blue red 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 yes yeah, so we can go get another blue source if we want why not looks good Right, so now we're kind of waiting here. They could take out the Royal Scions. That would save us six life for sure. We'll see how many zombies they try to make here. If they try to make too many, we'll, we'll definitely Clarion and you know take out all the zombies as best we can. Yep, Ghost Pile puts those in there. Looks like they're going to take out our Royal Scions, that's fine. Alright, Cavalier of Gales, huh? Let's start with Drawn from Dreams. We can get a little bit farther down, find what we need. Okay, so that's really good. Um, maybe... I think we do this, because we can Cavalier next turn. So we get Cavalier, Cavalier... Then we do zero, 
One, two. Right. Oh boy. Right. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, fourteen. Okay. We can do fourteen right now. Let's see what we can do. If I do do and then we win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, we're at two. Alright, we'll play Cavalier. What do you got? Nothing? Submit zero. And we got another Cavalier in the air. Don't have a disdainful stroke, please. Okay, sweet. I think that one's just the game in the air. Alright, so put uh, Fire's Cavalier back. Plus. Oh, ho! We did it! We beat the Golos deck! Yes! Why are they running Castle Vantress? Who knows? Woo! We did it! We beat the big bad boogeyman! <laughs> awesome way to end the night. Alright, let's go over the deck real quick. What I thought of it. How we can change it. The main thing is, this deck is absolutely bonkers. Having these Cavaliers with the available mana from... Fires of Invention to pump up your team and give everything haste plus one plus O oh is actually insane. Uh, Royal Scions was way better than I thought it was going to be. I think it might actually be better than uh, Teferi in this situation. Uh, Deafening Clearing, having three main, one side is great. Uh, Fires of Invention, I think if you go into a blue-black style matchup or any kind of Esper matchup, you want to side one out at least so that you can ferry to, sorry, Fae of Wishes to get the the fourth one, just in case they unmoored eagle you or they have a lot of discard. Um, Bone Crusher Giant was okay, not the not the best, but it did its job, dealt some damage and put a body on the battlefield so that you can pump it up with Cavalier, which is great. Uh, Shimmer and Drawn from Dreams. I might, I could see switching the numbers here, going three and two, but um, having these early just to find your land drops is uh, is super beneficial. Um, these Cavaliers are great. Drawing a bunch of cards just to get a little bit deeper, find the rest of your threats is great. This is by far the best card in the deck. Playing this off Fires I mentioned and then pumping your whole team and giving them haste is absolutely crazy. I'd like to see if we can try to find a way to sacrifice this Cavalier to some extent just to get uh, the other half of the card uh, utilized, I guess, just because sometimes you get a bunch of lands in your, your deck and you might need that reach. Uh, Niv Mizzet was great every time we drew it. Land base needs a little bit of work. I think we could uh, trim some shock lands and go up on the Castle of Antris just to make sure we have it every single game because it's really, really good when you have Fires of Invention in play. Sideboard needs a ton of work, but uh, for the most part it did the job that we needed it to. Um, we can kind of tweak it now that we know a lot of the really um, good decks, especially uh, the Golos deck. We actually didn't need Fae of Wishes to win. Uh, that's the great thing I like about this deck. It doesn't need Fae of Wishes to beat the Golos deck because it just flies over top of it or just, you know, gets a bunch of haste guys in the in the way, basically. Um, so you can tweak this sideboard however you want. Um, usually with the Fae of Wishes package, if you have, if you want a card that you want a ton of, either do four or three of them. That way, if you have four of them, you can side three of them in and keep one in your board for Fae of Wish or you know, two and one, something along those lines. But you can tweak this to however your metagame is set up, either for FNM or local events. So if your whole shop is playing Golos, for instance, you can tweak this board to be heavily focused toward that those Golos matchups so you can win a better percentage of them and try to, you know, get over that hump of just playing that really, really good deck. So overall, deck is great. I definitely recommend it. It's actually really, really fun drawing a bunch of cards and uh, swinging for insane amounts of damage every time and uh, just out of nowhere, basically, you know. But hey, we're feeling great. Deck is fun. Suggest you try it if you have the the wild cards. I know it's a lot. There's a lot of uh, mythics in this in this deck list. But yeah, highly recommend this deck. Super fun to play. Draw a lot of cards. Deal a ton of damage out of nowhere. 
um, go ahead and try it out for yourself. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up, smash that like button. Go to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the deck. Would you change anything? Would you keep it the same? Would you run it in your own FNM just to uh, you know have some fun, draw some cards, beat some people down? I hope you enjoyed us beating Golos there at the end. It really felt good to give it the old one-two punch after losing to it all weekend. But again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, magic is great and so are you. Stay positive. Play Island. <laughs>